Hi friends, Liv, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So a video I have seen kind of circulating around at the moment is the stay at home book tag. I'm not sure who actually started this tag, but if I can find it, I will leave their original video down below. I did find this from my friend Esme, and it looked like a lot of fun, so I wanted to kind of throw my hat in the ring and see how it goes. But I've got quite a few books here. There are a few prompts kind of relating to the stay at home that we're all kind of facing at the moment. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first prompt is laying in bed. What is a book you could or have read in a day? And I have a couple options for these. The first one being Ferris of All and The Beast Within, both by Serena Valentino. I believe these are part of a like six book series about kind of the backstories of some of the Disney villains and and how they kind of connect in the world. I don't know too much about it. Um, these are actually my sister-in-law's books that she so graciously loaned to me. Thank you, Steph. But she really liked these and she said that they were very quick to get through. Like the formatting of the pages is pretty simple and the words are kind of big on the page. So I have faith that honestly I could probably get both of these done in a day if I tried. But I'm really excited to finally read these. I've seen these kind of everywhere, but I don't know much about them. But the ideas of all of these storylines of the Disney villains kind of intersecting and meeting up and maybe even plotting with each other is something that really calls to me. If you guys don't know, I love the Disney villains. I mean, I love Disney in general, but something about the villains is just it's so fun to kind of hate the bad guy but it's also fun to see where they come from and why they do what they do so I'm very excited to finally get to these. Next up is Snacking What is a Guilty Pleasure Book and this is an answer I've seen quite a few people do for this tag and I don't have the first book with me I don't know where it is but so I do have New Moon here but it is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. I am such a twihard it's not even funny. This was kind of one of the first series that really got me into reading. I want to say I was in fifth grade. It was when the first movie came out. Someone, I remember someone in my school had talked about going to see it in theaters but I had no idea what it was. I'd never heard of it. And another girl in my class was reading the first book and she loaned it to me and... I fell in love. But honestly, I am due for a reread of this series. It has been years and years since I first picked these up. And I like the movies. I mean, I... the first movie is okay. My friend Jasmine and I honestly joke that we think the first movie was filmed with like the Valencia Instagram filter. And that's what's like horrible about it. But honestly, I think as soon as they switch directors for movies two through five, I think they got way better. I will shamelessly watch Twilight any day. I will shamelessly read Twilight any day. So guilty pleasure, but oh, I love it. Next up is Netflix. What is a series you want to start? And the series I have here is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. But if you look at the size of this bad boy, then you'll know why I haven't started it yet. Frankly, the size of this book, it's intimidating. I'm pretty sure it clocks in at just over a thousand pages, which I'm not gonna lie, is the biggest book I've ever read because at the moment that lies with Kingdom of Ash, which is like just under a thousand pages. So I need to keep in mind that I did get through Kingdom of Ash actually fairly quickly, but at that point that was a finale and I was fully invested in the characters and what they were doing, whereas this is an intro to these characters. I'm kind of at the point of, do I want to sit and read a thousand pages of characters I don't know yet? But honestly, I've heard so many good things about this book that I know if I do pick it up and just push through those thousand pages that I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And I believe the fourth and final book is coming out in November and I would love to be caught up at that point so I can enjoy the hype of the new release. Honestly, because I believe this is the shortest of them because I think as they go on they get longer but I could be very wrong. But because of that, I am very... I'm intimidated. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I... I'm very intimidated. Next up we do have Animal Crossing which is a book you bought recently from The Hype and the one I wanted to talk about today is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Shocker right? I'm talking about this book on my channel. I feel like this was a popular subject of mine before I even read the book, before I even owned it because of how much I wanted to read it because of how hyped up it was and how much I had heard about it and how much I already knew I was going to love these characters. And I finally did finish this book um, about a week ago now and it still crosses my mind every single day. Kaz Brecker has like moved into my heart and struck up a permanent residence there. I absolutely love him. But Kaz, Inej, Nina Mathias, Jasper Weiland, all six of these crows have just kind of like 
I don't know. I have fallen in love with them so much. I'm so excited to read Crooked Kingdom and see what happens following the end of this book. But this was a book that I picked up because of the hype and I'm so excited. And also because Animal Crossing is really hyped up at the moment. I unfortunately do not own a Nintendo Switch. So I don't own the new Animal Crossing yet, but I am keeping an eye out for whenever they decide to restock next. And I'm really excited to finally get to play the game. But at the moment I am playing the 3DS version of Animal Crossing to kind of like tide myself over and prepare for Animal Crossing whenever I can get it. But I'm so excited. The next prompt we have here is Deep Clean, a book that has been on your TBR for ages. And for this, this is a book that I picked up years ago, but I still have not managed to read. But it is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I believe this is the first in a six book series. I think there's five or six of them out at the moment. I don't know much about these books. I have heard them kind of comparable to Game of Thrones, but that's really all I know about it. I know it's like a high fantasy. It takes place in this fantasy world and I know it goes through multiple points of view, but I really don't know much else. Honestly, the idea that it was kind of like Game of Thrones is what intrigued me to pick it up, but then I just kind of put it down and didn't pick it back up. So here we are. I wanna say I also own books three and five in the series because I think I found them like on clearance somewhere and I was like okay I'm gonna read the first book eventually so like I might as well get them while they're cheaper right now. I'm gonna speak it into existence here. I will read it at some point in the next couple of months. Again I have said it so now it must happen. It will happen. I will read this book. I have heard good things about it. I haven't heard anyone talk about this book series in a while but I think a few years ago when I did initially pick this one up a lot of people were kind of talking about it and it was really hyped. So if you have read this book, please let me know your thoughts on it. And if you think it's something I would like, um, please. <laughs> I would love to know. Number six is Productivity, which is a book you learned from or had an impact on you. And this might not come as a surprise that I'm picking this book to anyone because I think I find any, any excuse to talk about this on my channel, but it is Fox 8 by George Saunders. It is a letter written by a fox to humans, all written phonetically. It's really cute, but it does deal with much darker themes about deforestation and how our habits as humans impact forest animals such as foxes. A very short read so it's something you can honestly get through in maybe like 20 minutes but this really kind of opened my eyes to the way that we do impact these creatures in ways that I never really thought about before and so maybe it'll open your eyes too um, but please please if you do get the opportunity give this a read you will not regret it. Next up is FaceTime which is a book that you were gifted and I want to give a quick little shout out here to my good friend Ashlyn who got me the Shiver series by Maggie Stiefvater one Christmas. She remembered me saying that I had read the first book but I hadn't gotten the chance to read the others so she did get me a boxed set that she found of the three of them and I'm so grateful. Um, if you're watching this, Ashlyn, thank you. I love you. This is a book series essentially about werewolves, which I love. Again, we talked about Twilight earlier. I have always watched Twilight for the wolves. I absolutely love anything that has to do with werewolves. Teen Wolf is one of my favorite shows of all time. And any series with werewolves is good for me. I still haven't actually gotten around to reading the third book, which I would love to do. So sometimes soon here I would also like to reread books one and two, see if I do like them just as much as I did the first couple times that I read them. If anyone would like to buddy read these, if you haven't read them or if you would like to reread them, please let me know down below because I would love to see if maybe we could get something like that started. That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so we have two more questions and this next one isn't necessarily anything bookish, but it is self-care. What is something you do to look after yourself? And honestly, in a time like this, I am kind of just taking it easy whenever I can. I try not to put too much pressure on things at the moment because it's a very tense time that we are facing in our world. I know I'm getting really serious here. I'm sorry. I don't want to go too deep into things because I know it can make some people very uncomfortable. But personally, just kind of like setting some time aside to try to get some reading in when I can writing when I feel like being creative. Honestly, YouTube is kind of also fueling my creativity. I am choosing to kind of keep myself busy in a creative way. So it's not too stressful because I'm still doing things that I love, but I also feel like I'm being productive at the same time. So I think kind of just finding that balance is kind of key. But also bubble baths and face masks are a go-to. So if you're ever in need to just kind of de-stress unwind, that's a good one. And bonus question, what is an upcoming release you were excited for? And oh my goodness, 
I have so many. At the beginning of this year I did my most anticipated 2020 releases videos and you know most of these are still still in the process of being released. I know next month we have The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins which is the prequel to The Hunger Games about a young President Snow mentoring a tribute from District 12 I believe the synopsis is and I'm really excited for that. I absolutely love The Hunger Games. It's one of my favorite book series of all time. It was one of the biggest fandoms I have ever been a part of and oh I was such a diehard Hunger Games fan back in the day so I feel like I'm like traveling back in time to 2012 now that I know there is a Suzanne Collins book coming out. I am trying to be very open-minded because it is about a young President Snow and I wasn't aware that I really wanted to know his backstory but I am going to, into this open-minded. I thought this originally was going to be about Mags's games which I would love to see if Suzanne Collins would choose to write a series about it in the future. Something else I have also talked about for years now is that I really wish she would make a series about the dark days because I want to know what happened the original like failed uprising when District 13 was just kind of left in the dust. I want to know what happened. I want to know how it all played out. So maybe in the future that's something we'll also get. Another book series I'm really looking forward to is The Tower of Nero by Rick Riordan which is the final book in the Trials of Apollo series. I am finally almost caught up on Rick Riordan's books. The Tyrant's Tomb is a current read of mine that I am buddy reading with my friend Nicole and I absolutely love this series. I'm so sad to see it come to an end but at the same time that also means that we're gonna get to see whatever Rick has planned next for us and I think that's honestly the most exciting part is I'm so sad to see these series come to an end with these characters that I've gotten to know and really gotten to love. I love the way that we've gotten to see Apollo grow in these books from this god who really didn't care about humans to seeing the way that even his choices have impacted the people that he now calls his friends and so something about that shift in that character arc has completely blown my mind and I'm so like proud of how Apollo has changed from when we first saw him in Sea of Monsters I think is when he first made his appearance in the original Percy Jackson series. Oh no, Titan's Curse. Titan's Curse was when he first made his appearance but since then yeah just seeing him grow and change and evolve even as a human and no longer as a god is something that's just so amazing to me and so I'm so excited to see what Rick does with his character after the series ends and then of course where we're going next. It's wild. All right, and there you have it, guys. That was my version of the stay at home book tag. If you have not done this book tag yet, but you would like to, I am officially tagging you right here, right now. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because I do upload on this channel every Monday and every Thursday, and you don't want to miss what's coming next. I am vlogging for Owl's Readathon. The next vlog should be up on Thursday, and I will leave last week's link down below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.